Hi, I'm Ryder Wood, and you're watching Maniacs. Today we talked with Matt Poole, a local lobsterman who's going to tell us what's up in the world of lobstering. Uh, I've been lobstering since I was like seventh grade, and uh, I bought my first boat, which is actually on the other side of the harbor here, and uh, started because I went with a buddy, he did it, and liked it, and thought it was a pretty good time, and didn't actually think I'd be doing it for a long time, but enjoyed it, so I kept on going from there. Uh, I'm the only person in my family that lobsters. My, uh, my father used to go uh, dragging for shrimp and ground fishing and that type of deal. He used to fish in Alaska, do crab fishing. Uh, it's not looking very good right now. A lot of people aren't going anymore. There's a few less boats in the harbors because people are giving up and selling out. And, uh, I bought, actually bought all my traps from a guy who sold out. And uh, I think this possibly, but there's so many regulations and laws and things that they're doing to limit us now that it's hard to hard to keep going but uh, I think there'll be somewhat I can't say it. it'll be a good one but uh, there'll be a future I think I mean, a trap nowadays is like $90 for the rope and buoy and the trap itself and if you average you know if you take 250 traps it's you know that's a lot of money ah I actually just recently bought a computer for my boat and it has a 3d on it, it has a 3d program so as you're going over the bottom it's hooked up to my GPS and my sound machine and it redraws the bottom on the computer screen so you can see every nook and cranny in the bottom and exactly what the bottom looks like. I have plotters and GPS and radios and sound machines, which is the bottom, and then uh, a radar, so if it's foggy out you can't see, the radar shows you what's around you. Some days I like lobster and some days I hate rolling out of bed and going. Some days I get up and I put a smile on my face and I'm excited to go. It's kind of like, I go hunting and fishing, and it's, it's kind of like that kind of adrenaline rush when you're hunting and you get something, or you're fishing and you got a big fish. If you, if you go out there and you, know, you never know what's gonna be in that trap when it gets up to the boat, you know, you, it could be anything. And that's kind of what keeps me going is the excitement of, you know, you, you never know how good you'll do, you know. It's work, you make money, and it's fun at the same time. But some days if it's rough out, or you're not, if you're not catching any lobsters, it's horrible because you don't want to be doing it, and you're not making any money, you're losing money. It's just. You have good days and bad days. Thanks for watching Maniacs. Tune in next week when we visit the Shipyard Brewery. I'm Ryder Wood, and I've got my dinner. What about you?